Hello, and welcome to Bee Drop Worldwide Los Angeles. I am your host, Lucy LaForge, and today we are joined by the band Slothrest. Which two songs will you be playing for us today? We are going to be playing a new song of ours called Cranium and an older one called The Haunting. Awesome. I can't wait. Take it away. I don't want to be addicted to the noise But when it goes away, I want to die Empty out my cranium and eat some cereal Cut my sweet angelic face into a pie Are you hungry? You look nervous Are you hungry? You look nervous I don't want to be some chalk upon your board I'm giving myself goosebumps on my body Just thinking about it Do you want to take some time to celebrate your mind? I want to buy your brain a cake and frost it with the calm of angels Are you hungry? You look nervous Are you hungry? You look Other boys who tell you that they get you, but we both know that they do not get you. I want to French braid your hair with honey on my hands. I want to pluck your eyebrows for you as my grandma's antique tweezers. Does it hurt you? Do you like it?
Sweat. This next song is called The Haunting. I'm not afraid of the ghosts in your head. I like to kiss them, bring them back from the dead. Like I said, and so I did, yeah I had a dream, I was haunting you too So I'll kiss myself, split my tongue into two Why not try something new, for you I'll try child I'll bend and break this fever dream a little girl that smiles as if to say too bad mm-hmm. we Without tongues in our mouths Never understood what those words were about Now all we can do is shout till we pass out beautiful hauntingly beautiful thank you (laughs) so tell us more about your band so our band is called slothrust and we are going to be releasing our fifth full-length record later this year Um, and we live here in los angeles awesome and what's next for slothrust what's next exactly that so the record will be coming out uh this fall it's called parallel timeline and uh yeah after that hopefully we'll be hitting the road and carrying forth with our merry lives. Awesome. Now, this next question is a question we ask everyone on B-Drop. What is your favorite B-side? So there's two I have in mind. Should I say both or just one? Sure, both. Okay, cool. So the first one is Sappy, which is a Nirvana song that came out in 1993, originally on a compilation uh, for AIDS awareness called uh, No Alternative. And I love that. I love that song. There's been a couple different recorded versions of it. Um, And the other one I just like want to tell you is called This Time Imperfect and it's by AFI and it's the hidden track on their record called Sing the Sorrow. Do you know the track? Oh, I know Sing the Sorrow. Oh, yeah. Okay, great. Awesome. I was like, I think (laughs) I should shout out some AFI today. So yeah, This Time Imperfect. I love that one. Awesome. Well, be sure to follow at Slothrest on all their socials and check them out on their streaming platforms as well so you can hear that upcoming album. Thanks for being here with us today. Now on to London. Hi, welcome to B-Drop Worldwide London. I'm your host, Karima Francis, and I'm here with the band Islas. How are you both doing tonight? Very good, thank you. Very good. Excited to play live again. I'm really excited to watch you play. It's been so long. It has been too long. It's been a while. It has been a while. How has lockdown been for you guys as a band? We've actually kept ourselves busy. Well, you have in particular. <laughs> um, we've definitely capitalised on the on the spare time that we've had away from gigging, haven't we? Yeah, because... Um, it's all been working from home, stay in your room, 
and your home a lot, right? So I think it's been a lot of chance for people who are, uh, are creative. It's given us a good chance to, to be creative, I guess. I've been really bad at it, I think, like pre-COVID, but I haven't really written anything. So it felt really good just to sit at home with a guitar. Um, I've got like a beaten up old Mac and uh, and uh, like a an old kind of microphone that I've been doing a lot of demos on. Yeah. So it's been really fun to kind of write, and um, and that's led to us being able to to get back into the studio very soon and, and record record a new EP, which is what we've been up to. So yeah. it's, all, it's all it's all going okay. That sounds super productive. Like I'm not going to lie. And um, you mentioned when we were, we were just talking before. So you have a new EP that you're going to be. Is that going to be coming out anytime this year? Yep. So we'll be releasing uh, a single off the EP very soon, uh, hopefully in the in the coming months. And then we're hoping for the end of the summer, we'll have the whole six song EP out. That's great. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, okay. So a bit of a personal question now. Um, I really want to know how to pronounce your name properly. Well, I think I said it when I introduced you. <laughs> yeah, it's good. But like, am I saying it correct? I hand over to you, mate. You should, do you know it? <laughs> yeah, so we're called the Islas. Um, okay. We, we sometimes get called a range of different things, don't we? Islas. Islas, um, yes. Isla. Originally, yeah. That's yeah. what I was saying yeah. before. I was like, oh, yeah. God. To be fair, it is our fault. Yeah. We pick we pick the name. So, um, yeah, it happens all the time. And then the general consensus of the band is that you can call us whatever you want to yeah. stream our music. So Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're going to be playing a song for us now. Um, what's the name of the song you're going to play? So the first song we're going to play uh, is called "Still Coming On." Um, we have never played it live before. This oh is one God, that this really? is one that was written um, a few months ago uh, during the during the lockdown, and then uh, demoed to to the boys, and then we put it all together, and we've actually recorded it uh, this weekend. So the first live performance of "Still Coming On." Wow. Well. So they're going to be playing a worldwide exclusive for B Drop. Um, so I just want to ask you one last question: What is your favorite B side? For me, it would have to be Arctic Monkeys' fluorescent and adolescent B-side, which is too much to ask. Very good. Uh, mine's a bit different. Uh, it would have to be Jeff Buckley at Live at Sine, and it would be Just Like a Woman. Oh, very nice. See, actually, my favorite B-side is, I think it's a B-side. I think it's Forgot Her as a B-side. Yeah, that's, that's one of my favorite ever B-sides. So take it away. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Just me trying to find my rhythm Lost in the dream is a working man's song But I know that this could change And that feels so strange For me Maybe this is the time that I can work on myself Myself in Asia, like all of my world is thin. But I know that it's all talk, and my feet would never walk for all me. I always thought that you'd be there. I thought I didn't need. The time that I can get my surprise Bearing my soul left in those obsidian eyes But I know I could do better If I could change like the weather And I can breathe And I know it's still coming on And I know it's 
Welcome to Bee Drop Worldwide Los Angeles. I am your host, Lucy LaForge, and today we have the Velvet Starlings on stage. What songs are you going to play for us? We are going to play a song called Back of the Train and a song called H.G. Wells. Awesome. Here we go. What is all time to catch the back of the train? And I'll hit a right man to find that fortune or fame. It's why I'm taking my time at the back of the train. No, I can't compromise to stay strong in the game. The future is blind, man I'm slowly covering my name Yeah, you'll find me moving and moving along You know I can wait for my day in the sun I'll be right here just fine, man At the back of the train And I'll be doing my Your eyes on the prize and you wait your turn Back too close to the sun and your bounce are get burned You roll with the tides, your time has come You're right at the cross of your day in the sun And you fight for your rise, the war is won The back of the train heading up to the front Move on up cause it's time, you're less than third You're right in the light, temple of the Next song? I think we should do it. H.G. Wells.
that well that rocked uh that was incredible um so i have to be uh honest um i'm quite a super fan i actually saw some of your earlier shows in los angeles and i noticed the band looks a little different can you tell me how you guys formed how you started yeah so lucy and i go way back but uh Foster and Hudson over here. We got Foster on the drums, and then we got Hudson on the bass. <laughs> Say hello. They uh, are brothers, actually. We met at a Cage the Elephant show, and it's just worked out that he plays bass and he plays drums, and we all take the same stuff. And we also got Ashton, who's a guitar player, but he's in Hawaii right now, chilling. So. Chilling some waves. Oh, that must be nice. <laughs> well, I am personally very happy to be here with you all, and I love those songs. What is next for Velvet Stylings? Next, we got a record coming out. One of those songs, the first one back of the train, is on our first record. And we actually got the other song, H2 Bells, on a second record that we did over COVID. We uh, we made our debut album, and then we were like, it's COVID. We can't put it out right now because we can't tour. So we made another one. And the other one is coming out first. It's called Technicolor Shakedown. And we're hoping it'll be out this summer. Awesome. Uh, we asked this question for everyone. I want to know, what is your favorite B-side? Ooh, so my favorite B-side, personally, I'd have to go with Lady Madonna and Hey Bulldog, because Hey Bulldog is just, that is the B-side. The ultimate freaking song. It's my favorite Beatles song, I'd have to say, because you got that sound at the back of John Lennon's throat that's just so badass. And then you got the riff that's just, like the Beatles doing riff rock. There's nothing better than that. You guys like Hey Bulldog? I agree, yeah. Yeah. Love Definitely. Him. Foster, any Definitely. takes? The drums? Oh, yeah. Drums rock on that song. Dude, the whole, the whole song rocks, man. Everything. Yeah. So rad. Well, you guys rock, and I hope everyone follows Velvet Starlings at Velvet Starlings on their socials. Check them out on all streaming platforms. Definitely stay tuned for that new album. And thank you so much for being here. Thanks for chilling with us, Lucy. Anytime. Hi, we're back in London, and I'm with Opus Kink. How are you guys doing today? Very well, thank you. Very good. To be good. Here. Yeah, I'm all right. Cool. Thank you for being here. Um, so how has lockdown been for you guys? Like, what's it been like not gigging? It's been hard, same as everyone else, but we've um, we kept busy. That's we've been good. good. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, um, we've squeezed blood from the stone. Oh, wow. Yeah, an old grim little lock-up in yeah. Port Slade. We've... Uh, We've made some music over the last year. Well, that's really exciting. That's what we do. Yeah. I found a new love for synthesizers. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, well, I've heard some of your music, actually. I was on a run the other day in Victoria Park, and um, I have a little speaker that's on the back of my neck, and I think everyone's looking at me like, because like, when I see people riding bikes in the streets of the speaker, I'm like, he's got some confidence, some balls to do that. <laughs> and... Um, and I was like, I was listening to it, and this song came on, and then like all that, like the trumpets and stuff came in, and I was like, wow, this is amazing. I had to stop to see what it was, and then it was you guys. So thank I was you. like really excited when they said you were going to be on the show. So what's As wild? Were we. Thank you. What's uh, what's Wild Bill about? Um, well, on the face of it, Wild Bill's about Wild Bill Hickok, who's uh, an outlaw kind of gunslinger in um, frontier America in the eighteen hundreds. Um, but it's it's kind of also not really about him. It's he's um, twisting him a little bit into a, a bit of a poster boy for kind of the uh, the Western sleaze bags assault on uh, kind of the East women uh, death. You know all those things that we can't avoid but try to. Wow, that's deep. Um... <laughs> deep man. No, but like it. it... It reflects in your music, like how deep it goes. So I'm actually really happy that you told me about that. But um, I'm really we're still we're still hiding behind cowboys and Indians, though. So <laughs> okay, not, but no, we're not. It's not on our sleeve yet. So what's the first song you're going to sing for us tonight? The first song uh, is Wild Bill. Oh, okay. Yeah, the first one's Wild Bill, um, and uh, that was both these songs were recorded at Rockfield Studios. Oh, nice! With, um, I know that studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's cool. Quite a fun cool one. Mm. In the countryside. Um, with Tim Burgess, which was a lot of fun. Oh, and, wow. Uh, yeah, I was actually, I was stalking you guys before. Mm. Sorry, that's what you say these days. And um, But yeah, Tim Burgess, how was it to work with him? It was great. He's, he's a chilled out guy. He's a, uh, he meditates, he eats soup and he does great work on the on the deck. So uh, yeah, it's yeah, really we, good to work with him. We actually had a couple of Tims there. We also had Tim Lewis, who was the engineer, who was amazing to work with. Yeah. With just, yeah, yeah. Just working late into the night with his crazy synth solo. Mm. After a few beers, it was 
pretty fun. The Welsh Wizard. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Tim Burgess is a real music fan, and I think that's that's what's really special about him. The fact that he's carried on these like listening parties and and like he has his own record label and there's a guy, there's a band on there called Sex Jokes. I think it's called Sex Jokes. And there's something like that anyway. He just has such a great taste for music. He's also got his own cereal. Oh, really? Yeah. No, he's, a, he's a man of many talents. Where can you buy his cereal? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not too sure. Are you sure? It's probably yeah. in Hackney Wick somewhere. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. Some, like, Some weird shelf weird for like 20 down. pounds. Yeah, Tim exactly. Burgess's cereal bar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Homerton High Street. Yeah. <laughs> he's, uh, he's one of the good ones, yeah. Yeah, that's well, great. And before you go, actually, I have to ask you one last question. It's what's your favourite B-side? My favourite B-side. You know what? The, the B-side that I've caned the most was, uh, and this was a while back, but um, it's the B-side to um, an Oasis song off the uh, controversial third album. Uh, I can't, can't remember what the, uh, um, can't remember what it was, but the, the B-side was I Got the Fever. And that was, uh, it's just a ridiculous wall of sound and I was just kind of banging my head against the bus window. And uh, <laughs> that, was, uh, that was my 17th year. There you go. Very nice. Well, if he's going to say Oasis, then I'm going to say Come Together by the Beatles. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's a great one. Yeah. yeah. I think I said that once before. I think everyone said that one. Yeah. yeah all right. Well, not original. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Probably, I'm going to be really out of character here and say the, the B-Sides no, it's, it's, album for Chemical Brothers. Oh, wow. Saying. That's No, that's Bye. not. I mean, it's, it's yeah, they're a great band. So I, I don't know that, that B-Side, but um, is it? Oh, it's the right moment. Okay. Okay. Well, that's um, Opus Kink, and enjoy your set tonight. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Hey.
this train Welcome back to B Drop Worldwide, Los Angeles. I am your host, Lucy LaForge, and today we are here with Modern Eyes. What songs are you going to play for us? First up, we got Absolute Midnight, and second, we've got Conversations Kill. All right, let's hear it. She dims the lights, candles burning in the night. If this is love, I want it right. Then she said, And I won't breathe in the candle light. Would you follow me into absolute? The sky at dusk turns to lust, shimmering sounds of whisper soothe. Then our shadows start to move. Then she says, And I
That was incredible. I love those two songs. Thank you. Um, I'd love to know more about your band. How'd you form? Where are you from? Yeah, I mean, we're all from L.A., if not L.A. transplants. And we got together a couple years ago and kind of just we're trying to just have a good time and recorded a few songs and then got to the point where we booked a couple shows and sold out the Peppermint and the Troubadour and our first year of being a band. <laughs> and, wow. You know, then Live Nation asked us to do a couple things, play Ohana Festival last year, but, you know. Had to take take a year off and kind of just get back in the studio and record. And, you know, here we are just kind of ramping things up again. Very cool. Very cool. Well, I follow you guys on socials and I believe you just had a single drop today. Tonight. Tonight. Yeah, Midnight Tonight. Absolute Midnight. So. Awesome. Well, I'm looking oh, forward ironic. to hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's coming up next? Yeah, well, like I mentioned, we've got um, Ohana Festival coming up in September. Um, and that's kind of the first big show back, hopefully. And then we've got a few singles kind of rolling out throughout the next the rest of the year and, you know, just kind of going from there. Awesome. Well, I can't wait to hear them. I do have a question for you that we do ask everyone on B drop. What is your favorite B side? Oasis. And I would have to choose acquiesce. Beautiful. Yeah. You can't go wrong there. <laughs> 
Awesome. Well, everyone, you can find them at Modern Eyes Official on socials and definitely check them out on streaming platforms as well. And I hope I can see you at Ohana Fest. Um, yeah. Hope so. Yeah. Great Let job. Us know. We'll Love get you this. In. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for having us. Okay, we're back in London and now I'm with the band The Roves. Nice to see you all. Nice Thank you for being here. Jump. Thanks. <laughs> I uh, I heard on the grapevine that you were played by Iggy Pop on the radio. How was that for you? Yeah, it was good. Uh, it was a right. It was right. Um, like before, literally right before everything sort of stopped. You know. Oh yeah, yeah, lockdown, yeah. So mm. it was kind of like a. Yeah, it was just you know I don't know. It's it kind of happened, and then every, the, the world lockdown. the world changed. The world did change. Um, so yeah, but it must have been a real experience just hearing his like really deep voice. Just I think like we missed it. Oh, did you miss it? Oh. And then I listened to it afterwards. Oh right, okay. Well, I guess that just is. Like, oh, I can't yeah, as good remember as that much, but I do remember people saying to me, "Oh, I heard it," and then I went, "Oh, I'm not actually listening to it, but I'll catch it tomorrow." Yeah, that's yeah. the thing with BBC Radio. It's kind of one of those things you're like, oh, I listen to it tomorrow. On, it's not an FM, so uh, yeah. I can't listen to it on the radio unless I'm in, you know, like a, mm. got a DAB. Yeah, so. you need one of those dab things, like, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, yeah a better car. <laughs> He's got a better car now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, you do time, now. Only FM radio, if, if this so. had happened this year, it would have been a whole different story. No. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It, it, I think it's like that for a lot of musicians at the moment. Like this year has really put a spanner in the works for some people. I mean, I think it's been in a great, a great, an amazing thing for for others. The ones that have just like come out through lockdown, but um, yeah, it's kind of just put everything on hold that was just before. And I, I kind of, it feels, I don't know. I just hope that a lot of people just like come back up the other side and stuff, and it's it's all okay. But I think I guess like you know a lot of things would have folded, but then. New bands would have taken their place. Mm. Some bands will still be here. That's Some right. Some bands will just be non-existent. Oh, that's very sad. That's not <laughs> what we want to hear on B-Drop. Um, so what are you going to play for us tonight? What's the first song you're going to play? Is it I'm So Happy? It's from the second album, isn't it? Mm. Uh, yeah. All those freaks. And then the, the second one is Alberto Z, which is from the, the one we're recording now. Oh, okay. So that's uh, your B-side. Yeah, you yeah. could say, yeah. Very yeah. nice. For the purposes of the program. Okay. Although it's, although it's track one, side one of the next album, I think, so. Yeah, so one of these tracks so, is unreleased, so basically. In the way, it's oh, a it's unreleased. It's unreleased. Yeah, yeah oh, so, wow. so, so one of the songs, <laughs> one of the songs is off the second album, which has been released. Okay, so the third album is, is yet to come. Yet to, yet to come. Amazing. We're working on it next month. Wow. Uh, this This month, you know, this month. Okay, you just did my job for me then, because I was supposed to ask you about this. But thank you very much. Now you know. Now you know there's, they've got a, a new album coming out soon. Um, but before you go, I just want to ask you what your favourite B-side is, what your personal favourite B-side is. Oh, uh, I've got one. Have um, you? Yeah. The Birds, She Don't Care About Time. Oh, very it's nice. Off, uh, Turns and Turn is the A-side, and it's another like great Gene Clark song. Uh, as a B-side, she don't care about time. I think That's they, I think they did it. I think it was released like later on in the compilation. But that version is rubbish, and the single version is like the forty-five version is awesome. Really? And, uh, yeah, it's 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 jangly guitars. Gene Clark at his finest. She don't care about time. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. I think my favorite B-side is God Only Knows. Oh, is it? It is. Yeah, it's a B side to "Wouldn't It Be Nice." Can you oh, believe it? Uh, that's a that's a great lineup, yeah. isn't it? Mm. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> there's a there's a good um, Mister. Oh, what's that? Kinks B side. Uh, do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, Mister. She's got everything. Is uh, it B side oh, to rap? Oh, She's got everything. B side by to, the Kinks. Uh, oh, very nice. Okay. Yeah. And do you have one? They might have probably all oh, give both then. Probably be well. I don't know. Oh, it could be that guy. Where's that? I say Oasis. They did um, whatever single. Yeah. And then they had what? Slide away. It's good to be free. 
and then half the world away is their three B sides on that. Wow, they're I mean, pretty killer B sides. They're, they're three B sides, yeah. and they're all amazing. I mean, amazing if you can songs. write B sides that good, then yeah, 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 yeah. Sorted, he could. You? you can't anymore, but he could. You know. Well, he's not so bad, like not nowadays. Yeah, he can. But, he you can. Know. I'm only joking. Not. No. Yeah, yeah. Where can we find you online? Like, if people want to look you up. Oh, um, the the Roves. Um, Bang camp. So it's at the Roves um, the, on Instagram, okay? Yeah, it's um, at R zero V E S. Oh, okay. So yeah. yeah, so it's like if you do a password for those, yeah. that, um, putting it in, <laughs> like keeping it safe. Anyway, it's really nice to meet you guys and enjoy your set tonight.
be your time free. 